what you doing? Writing a short story. Ladies Day magazine is having a contest. <laughs> so, uh, what's the story about? It's an epic tale of raging passion, bold adventure, and devastating heartbreak. You haven't written a word, have you? <laughs> Just my name. <laughs> All I need is a little inspiration. Good news. I'm here. Well, 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 if it ain't me or Lang. Looking for a person that dropped a house on your sister? Must there always be tension and ill feeling between us? You damn skippy. <laughs> Look, I was hoping to catch you before your partner comes in, so I'll be quick. I want you to come work for me. For you? For you? You? <laughs> yes. We all know Club Misdemeanor will soon be the top night spot in Kansas City. But I can get there a lot quicker with you as my general manager. What makes you think I would ever throw in with you? Well, right now you have a partner. You throw in with me, I'll put you completely in charge. I'll be totally hands-off. You know, I got skills. They don't come cheap. I mean, let's just face it. You can't afford me. I will give you a base salary of 80000 a year and 25% of the gross profits. Plus, as a signing bonus, the company car of your choice. Well, uh, maybe you can afford me. <laughs> you know, Do but... yourself a favor, Eddie. Think it over. I'm gonna have a drink. That is, if you stock any wines without pop tops. <laughs> You're not actually considering this, are you? Yeah, I'm, only, I'm only human, you know. I mean, you know, me and Mal, we doing all right, but nowhere near what she's offering me. Plus, I'd be in charge. You know, uh, being a partner is cool, but I think I could shine as a dictator. <laughs> in 1929, Kansas City was a town of paradoxes. The outskirts were dotted with single-family farms, fields of corn waving gently in the breeze. But downtown KC was a hotbed of booze, babes, and jazz. Welcome to opening night of the White Garden. It's an eclectic funny bump. They just won't leave you alone while you sit inside your home. was a speakeasy on the corner of 4th and Main. Prohibition was the law of the land. But in this joint, illegal booze flowed like the Mississippi River. Everybody happy? Oh, yeah. yeah. This is the best hooch I've had in years. I only serve the best. My gin will put hair on your chest, a spring in your step, and a babe on your arm. All right. Yeah. Password. Titanic. Gentlemen. Say, Leonard, 
What's the big idea? The password's not Titanic, it's Packard. Uh, ain't one car just as good as another one, boss? <laughs> Look, Weisenheimer, we don't need the coppers waltzing in here on account of you not remembering the password. Password. Packard. Good evening. Welcome to the White Gardenia. Allow me to escort you to your table. I don't know if you got the lowdown, but this is the opening night of the White Gardenia. Oh, I know all about your little club. And I know all about you, Mr. McGee. You see, I operate the Kit Kat Club. <laughs> Why, well, say, that would make you me Elaine. And I keep my ear to the ground, too, dollface. Won't you join me, Mr. McGee? I'll be brief. I want you and your little operation shut down by next week. Listen up, lady. You can't come into a place like this, dressed like that, talk to me like this, saying things like that. <laughs> you said a mouthful, mister. But I don't take kindly to competition. I never have, fella. It's easier to simply get rid of it. Well, you take your best shot, princess. Fifteen to get your twenty, that when the smoke clears, I'll still be standing. The boys in blue might take an interest in your peculiar brand of refreshment. You'd rat me out? <laughs> Why not? Look, I can take it on the chin, but if I go down, I'm sending you up the river. <laughs> So that's the way you want to play it, bub? It's the only game I know. Moose. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again, Mr. McGee. Not if I lay my peepers on you first, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm glad you got here so quickly. I need someone rubbed out. And I don't care if it looks like an accident. In fact, make it messy. I want word to get out that no one crosses Mia Lang. And everyone in the stinking burg knows that the best button man around is Eddie the Hat. It's in the bag, baby. This mug McGee just bought a one-way ticket to the pearly gates. dollars like this. I'll plant McGee for you, but it's gonna cost you 50 grand. That's a lot of cabbage. So what? You're getting a lot of corned beef. <laughs> All right. 50,000 it is. Terms? I want half of the scratch up front. And I want the rest of the dough when I finish the job. Deal. I like your style, Eddie. Get in line, lady. Everybody does. <laughs> Say, boss. Oh. Hey! You snuck up on me. Let me in, Joker. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, say yeah. Smoke enough. Password. Let me in before I bust your kneecaps with a pipe wrench. <laughs> That'll do. Welcome to the White Gardenia. May I take your hat? May I take your lungs out with a spoon? Have a nice evening, sir. Say, uh, where's the mug that runs this joint? That's him, the palooka by the boar. 
<laughs> Thanks, sister. Sister? Listen, Jackson, I've got five sisters, and not one of them looks like you. You got Moxie. You was my girl, you leave her by the side of the road. If I was your girl, I'd hit the road. <laughs> Let's blow this joint. Cut a rug. Name's Eddie, rhymes with ready. My name's Nicolette. It rhymes with something you're never gonna get. Last name's Hat. Didn't want none of that. You better go easy on that special mix we brewed in my bathtub. I spilled some of the last batch on my desk. It ate clean through the paint. You Malcolm McGee? That would be me, chum. What can I do you for? Eddie the Hat, new in town. They tell me your joint's the hottest club in KC. Oh, uh, well, I'm glad to see where it's getting around. What you drinking? Anything but the... Special mix. <laughs> Two gins on the rocks. Ah, this is definitely the berries. Top of the line. We spared no expense. Have you tried the food? Let me get you a shrimp cocktail. I don't accept anything on the house. Good, I don't give anything on the house. <laughs> I hear running a gin mill is a tough trade. I uh, know it's tougher than your job, I'll bet. What line of business you in? The funeral business. Uh, undertaker? Supplier. <laughs> That's a nice record you got here, McGee. I'd hate to see you get beat out by the competition. Uh, I'm not worried about competition. Everybody who's anybody has got their body at the White Gardenia. It's the easiest 50 grand I ever made. Your shrimp cocktail, sir. All right, beat it. Holy smoke. That was close. Thanks, Valley Pal. You saved my life. No thanks neither, brother. Maybe you'll do the same for me someday. Hiya, toots. So is McGee wearing a toe tag? Bad news. I'm not gonna do it. The contract's off. Say it, Buster. What gives? McGee done me a good turn. I live by a code. I can't shoot a man who pats me on the back while I'm choking on shrimp and saves my life. That's a long code. I'm a big man, girly. I need a long code. You don't get it, Charlie. I want McGee out of the speakeasy business. A contract is a contract. What are you gonna do, report me to the hitman's union? Party har har. You see, if you don't kill McGee, I'll just hire another blaster to kill him. And you. You don't like being told no, do you, sister? <laughs> Can't say. You're the first man who's ever tried. So what's it gonna be, Eddie? Your code? Or your life? Well, since you put it like that. Slip balls. Oh! You should have knocked while you still had a good arm. McGee, Nicolette. Call me Malcolm. Call me a camp. Get your mitts in the air, the both of you. What? Why? Get them in the air, otherwise you'll get this. Oh, my God, his hat's packing. That's right, college girl. Hey, boss, we need some more of that special mix. Get your paws up in the air before I put a slug in your noodle. And <laughs> hey, what are we listening to him for? There's a gun in his hat. Oh. <laughs> well, Eddie, how could you do this? I just saved your life. You know, McGee, it's nothing against you. Frankly... You're the closest thing to a square John I ever met. But a job's a job. Mia Lang says hello and goodbye. I guess we're done here. Not so fast, sweet cheeks. 
Can't leave any witnesses. Oh! <laughs> Oi. Hey, hey, buddy, I, I'm not a witness. I, I didn't see a thing. Hey, look, my eyes were closed. Yeah, I know. Yo, I just don't like. Hey, can we... Oh! <laughs> Good work, Eddie. Yeah, I did the job. Deal's a deal. Sticks in my craw. Save the shino and shut out the shekels. Here's the rest of your dough. I'm gonna give half to the orphans and the widows. Ooh, that's big of you. Not really. I'm the reason it is orphans and widows. <laughs> well, you certainly made my day. With McGee out of the picture, no one will move a drop of hooch in this town without my say-so. Not so fast, Duchess. Agent Ricketts! Bingo, baby doll. <laughs> Stepped in a pile of trouble and sunk all the way up to your pretty little neck. I'm taking you down hard. Ha! What are you talking about? You're on my payroll. Not anymore, you murdering floozy. <laughs> <laughs> McGee's paying me double what you were paying. I'm on his pad now. But he's dead. I got better. You double-crossed me. Like taking candy from a baby. I know. I've done that. <laughs> going to the big house, Mia. You're gonna be shaking your tail feathers in stir. I'll take your best shot, Flatfoot. You know what the problem is with dames like you? What? You're not satisfied with just a piece of the pie. No, you want the whole damn bakery. <laughs> Too bad, tough guy. We could have been beautiful together. Well, baby, I guess I have to be beautiful all alone. <laughs> Get her out of here. <laughs> nice doing business with you, G-Man. Thanks. Now I can buy a raccoon coat. <laughs> Oh, I get it. You want me to protect you from the street toughs, eh? Yup. I plan to run while they're shooting you. <laughs> Listen, I want to thank you for giving me the heads up on Mia. You know, there's no way I could put a slug in you after you saved my life. <laughs> You know, this, uh, this hitman thing is getting old. Sure, the hours are good, but boy, do I go through hats. <laughs> Maybe it's time you tried a respectable business. Yeah? What do you got in mind? How about bootlegging? <laughs> I can always use a cat who's handy with the gat. And so Eddie decided to hang up his hat and unload it. <laughs> he and Malcolm became fast friends. And to this day, when the old timers reminisce about the golden age of jazz in Kansas City, they speak fondly of the white gardenia. The end. I gotta go print this. <laughs> so, Eddie. Do you have an answer for me? Well, I've been thinking it over. And it is a sweet deal. Well, if it isn't Satan's stepsister. <laughs> no wonder the walls are bleeding. Hello, Malcolm. What are you doing here? Slumming. Ta-ta. Oh, Well, I think you should know Girlie here wants me to manage club Mr. Mayner. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Made a good offer, too. Big salary, share the profits, even a company car. Well, damn, if you don't take it, I will. <laughs> oh, go right ahead, Molly Mile, cuz I could never lead a 50 50 club. Oops, I, I, I forgot. If I took the job, I'd have to work with Mia. Pass. A simple no would have sufficed. <laughs> but you don't understand, Missy, you could never break up this partnership. Never gonna happen. Well, can't blame a girl for trying. Oh, we don't. 
We just blame you for all your other evil deeds. <laughs> Allow us to escort you out. And into traffic. <laughs>